Today in our devotional series, I want us to look at something small entitled Seek Ye the Lord. And before we may go in deep into this subject, I would like us to pray. Dear Jesus, help us understand this subject. And may the viewers be blessed with the Lord. Amen. Now, when Adam and Eve sinned, they ran, they ran from the face of God. And by default, they owed God an explanation. Why, why, did, why had they done the way they had done it? And so in the, cool, uh, in the cool of the day, God came to see them and asked Adam, where are you? Because they had hid from the Lord. And I want us to look at this story understanding that God was aggrieved. So Adam and Eve owed him an explanation. But instead of God waiting for Adam and Eve to seek for him, he actually sought out for them. And so, before we loved him, he first loved us. Adam and Eve were ready to look for him, but they didn't. God took the first initiative to reach to us. So today I want us to read Isaiah 55 from verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Jesus said, I am at the door standing, knocking. Whoever will open, I'll come and dine with him. Jesus is always seeking for us, daily. And like Adam, he asked us, where are we? Where are we? Uh, Isaiah 55, verse 7, continues and say, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let, let him return unto the Lord, and he, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And continue and say, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. I know some of us have been given this picture that God always wants to punish us. He's always looking for your mistake. He's always looking for to see you stumble. But the Lord that the Bible teaches is someone who is willing to see the lost. He knows who we are, who we can be when we are with him, and who we can be when we are not with him. And he says he has, his thoughts for us are beyond what we can imagine. Verse 9 goes and says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and snow from heaven, and returneth not either, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth bad, that it may give seed to the sour and bread to the eat. So this verse is trying to tell us that just as the Lord seeks us, just as the Lord sought after Adam, he's still doing the, doing the same thing today. And he wants us also to open up to him, to seek him while you still have time. Don't look at your present condition and think you've gone too far. In fact, if you look at the disciples, look at the case of Peter. Peter, every time he was, he, uh, as in, at some point, Jesus said that he rebuked, he rebuked Satan in him. At some other point, he denied Jesus. But still, Christ did not take his case as, the, as a hopeless case. Every case matters to him. So don't look at your present condition. I would want, I would want, I would, I would want to implore you that you seek him. In the book of Isaiah, the chapter is 55 and the verse is 3, the Bible records, Come unto me, hear and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. I know the enemy is trying to tell you that you are going too far. Do not listen to his suggestions. He's 
practice is to make you hopeless. To think that you are the worst sinner. To think that God cannot redeem you. I would like to tell you today that no case is hopeless before God. No situation is too worse for him to look to. You might have done the worst sin. People might have written you off. But I would like to tell you that he is inviting you today. Come back to me. Christ says in John chapter 6 verse 37, Him that